right, Surfer Ray here, NorCal Bees, and it's January 28th, and uh, I looked out my window, and uh, especially over here, I was thinking, oh my God, are we swarming? <laughs> but uh, that's not what's going on. What's going on is that uh, we're in between storms right now, and uh, this is the first sun that's come out in the last uh, probably three, four days. And uh, the girls are just all out and excited to get out into the sunshine. On top of that, even though it's January 28th, we're having orientation flight right now. So we've had this crazy weather where it's 60 to 70 degrees for like three weeks straight. The bees were just exploding as far as brood rearing. And now all those bees are starting to hatch out. And so this is like three days, four days worth of uh, young nurse bees hatching out wanting to get out and check out where they live. So they're all out there cruising around, checking it out, and uh, <laughs> they're just excited to be out outside here. This is uh, some of my overwintered mating nukes we got going on right here. We're gonna get ready to pull these queens out and uh, put them into some nukes for my early season nukes that I sell. And then all these uh, frames will be stored into a regular deep over a regular hive until I'm ready to start raising queens. And right here is what I call my brood factory. These are all double um, divided deeps here. So there's actually two queens in each one. This is where we uh, pull a lot of frames early in the season to make our nuke splits, as well as um, as soon as we start doing queen rearing, most of these uh, boxes here will be used to produce the brood we need to do the queen rearing. Um, so. That's what's going on. All right, Surfer Ray, NorCal Bees in the winter wonderland, January 28th. Man, these girls are working overtime. It's 4.15 in the afternoon. It's definitely cooling down, but they're still out making up for lost time. Seeing some pollen coming in, you know, after these heavy rains, I'm sure a lot of that got knocked off, but there's still some white eucalyptus and some, uh, yellow pollen coming in sporadically here but uh <laughs> i just love bees man that's all i can tell you these these girls are just so you know just so industrious you know i love these after the storms where these bees just come out and like we gotta make up the overtime we gotta make up for it <laughs> yeah pretty awesome yep there went a little yellow pollen Girls, carry on. <laughs> 